Hi everyone, this is Crow the Sandler fan here. And before I start off the video, I just want to say happy March break to all of you. I, I hope you all have a great March break, March break because me and my family will. So, anyways, let's get on to the video. So, today's video is going to be something... Something a bit different today. I thought of something doing a bit different today, and, and, and today's video is a comparison video on why the plots for A Bug's Life and the Simpsons episode Miracle on Evergreen Terrace are very similar. So first, let's get to A Bug's Life. So the plot for A Bug's Life is it takes place on a on a small ant ant hill. That's called Ant Island, and and every day all of the all of the ants would would stack up food for all the grasshoppers to eat, and and the food is the only way to get the grasshoppers to go away since the bugs and grasshoppers are enemies. And everything is going very fine until this ant named Flick accidentally destroys all of the food that were for the grasshoppers, and then when the grasshoppers showed up, they they saw that there that there's no food, so the so the grasshoppers tells the bugs that the next um that the that the next time they come back, they they'll ha they'll have like a a big war against them. And and F Flick decides that he should create a bug a bug army to to defeat the grasshoppers. And um, that's how I can explain the plot for a bug's life. And in the Simpsons episode, and the plot for the Simpsons episode, Miracle on Evergreen Terrace, the, the plot of the episode is where, um, it, it takes place on December 24th, just the last day before Christmas Day. Uh, March, co March comes home to show Homer, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie this, this decorative styled Christmas tree that March bought from a store. Uh, and I believe it's a, it's solar like I I forget what the tree was like, but I think it was solar ish. I, I don't know. I I forget because I haven't seen that. I've only watched that episode once. But anyways, back to the point. Um, but March March so shows the family that the tree she got, and they all loved it, and Bar especially loved it too. And then in the in the nighttime, while everyone was asleep, Bar. Bart got up very early to just to just to open up the presents early while everyone else was in bed sleeping, and Bart opened one of the pr one of the presents that was for him, and it's that remote control fire truck that Bart wanted. And then Bart was playing with his new remote control fire truck ar around a little bit, it but then suddenly the the water hose from from Bart's fire truck toy, um, the water from the from the water hose came out and and it sprayed the ele the the electronic wire that connected that Christmas tree March spot and and it, um it caused the 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 tree and the presents to catch on fire. B Bart tried to stop the fire, but the fire disappeared very quickly and the tree start started to melt. So. So then Bar Bart feels very ashamed of himself. Um so um he he then buries the now melted Christmas tree um in into the snow and then the ne and then the next morning when Bart's family woke woke up they, they saw their presents and Christmas tree being gone and Bart Bart tells Homer, Marge, Lisa and Maggie this uh th this lie also known as that made up story Bart made that that there's a, a, a that there's a burglar coming in and stealing the Christmas tree and the presents when there is really no burglar because Bart Bart's the one that destroyed the, the tree as as we all know. And and um now back to a bug's life so so yeah um F Flick did bring a uh, a bug army, which they're actually circus bugs, but Flick f thought the circus bugs would be great being a, a bug army. Uh, and 
At first, all of the bugs were proud of Flick for for bringing a a bug army, since since all of the bugs found the bug army very impressive, very impressive bugs. But then, but then suddenly, P.T. Flea, who's the manager of the circus bugs, shows shows up and and tells all the bugs that 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 the bugs Flick hired are actually not. Bug warriors, they're just circus bugs, and and all of the bugs, including Princess Ada, who is the leader of the bugs, now de now despise Flick uh, for um for mistaking a a circus bug troop for warrior bugs, and in, and in and in the later on in in the Simpsons episode, uh. Bart confesses to to his family that that there was no burglar steal, stealing the tree in the presence, and Bart explains that 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 he got very early and accidentally destroyed the the tree and and buried it uh, and buried it in the snow. Um, and that and that and although Homer's glad that Bart told the truth, but Homer is also Angry to the point where, where where he strangled Bart, and then suddenly Kent Brockman and his news crew come over to to do a live TV interview uh, of the Simpsons of how they're getting along. Um, um, at first Homer doesn't really know what to what to say now that Bart Bart revealed the, the truth, but as Homer was about to say something. Santa's little helper, who's the Simpsons dog, di digs up the real evidence. Um, Santa's little helper reveals the the now destroyed destroyed tree, and uh, all of the citizens on Springfield saw saw the real evidence on TV, and they all thought it was a it was a big scam. But here's the difference, though. Um, a bug's life actually has a good ending. Why? Because, because, because Flick defeated the the leader of the Grasshoppers, Hopper, and and the and the Bug Army did do a a very great job stopping the Grasshoppers, and 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 Flick was claimed to be Flick is now claimed to be a hero in the, in 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 the end of the movie, but the. But Miracle on Evergreen Terrace, however, has a that has a bad ending because because uh, when Homer and his family drive back home, um, they they saw they saw everyone at Spr at Springfield next to their house at and at first they were here to apologize, but but it turns out that. All of the citizens in Springfield are, are only here just to come into the Simpsons house and take away all of your stuff. And to be honest, when I first saw the episode, I honestly felt bad for for Homer and his family. Which honestly, their stuff did not deserve to be taken away. But yes, it was Ron of Bart to to make up to make up the story of a burglar coming in stealing a tree in a presence, but. It, but it was also wrong of all the citizens uh, in Springfield to just come into the Simpsons' house and, and take away all of their stuff, since two Rons do not make a right. I'd say what should have happened in, in the Simpsons episode is that, um, well, um, here, here's the thing I want to, I, I want to tell you, um, before, before all the citizens in Springfield take away all of their stuff, first, First Marge appeared on Jeopardy, it, except it, except Marge got 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 a question wrong when she appeared in Jeopardy. But I'd say what should have happened in the episode is that um Mar Marge gets the when Marge appears on Jeopardy and Alex Trebek a asks Marge a question and Mar Marge should have got the the question right. And and the Simpsons and all of the other citizens of Springfield make make up and they apol and and 
and Homer's family apologized to the citizens for what happened. And what also should have happened in the episode is that um, Homer and his family should have ground uh, should have grounded Bart for not just coming in too too early to open the presents, but also making up make making up the story of a burglar coming in and stealing out stealing the, the, the tree and, and the presents. That that's what should have happened in the episode. And and coincidentally A Bug's Life and The Simpsons are, are both owned by Disney. And yes I know the The Simpsons is it is from Fox, but Disney now owns Fox, so technically the Simpsons is the Simpsons is now owned by Disney. So that's a that's a pretty big coincidence. And another big coincidence is that a uh, A Bug's Life and Miracle on Evergreen Terrace are are both from the late nineties. Um so yeah, that's basically my my comparison on why the plots for a Bug's Life and Miracle on Evergreen Terrace are very similar. But if I were to choose between these two, I think I'd go with A Bug's Life because not because not just not 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 just because I I The Bug's Life is a very good movie, but it I I like the moral and the story and and that's a really good good ending. But I but I did enjoy the Simpsons episode. I just did not like the 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 ending where everyone where everyone in in Springfield takes away the Simpsons stuff. But but I can tell you this: Miracle on Evergreen Terrace is a pretty good Simpsons episode to to watch when it's when it's Christmas. So so yeah, there we go, everybody. There's there's nothing else uh, I could say about the uh, about what a bugs about what A Bug's Life and Miracle on Evergreen Terrace have in common. I hope y'all enjoyed the, the, the video. Let, let, me know, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this video, and let me know if you agree or, or disagree with my points or not. And yeah, let me know what you think in the video. But this is me saying peace out. And one more thing before I end the video, happy March break, everyone. Bye.